Yes, people, we are here at Derby County Football Club, the training ground in Derby. I'm here to meet one of my old football friends, Wayne Rooney, now the manager of this great football club. So, good to see what goes on behind the scenes at a football training ground. Let's go, man. Follow me. Oh, that's really up there, I love it. You've got a key today, isn't it? Yeah, just like that we're not there, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, assessing you. <laughs> I report back. I'm not used to seeing him like this. He looks comfortable, man. Just looks like he's at home doing this. Like, I only know him as like playing and just messing about in the training run and that, and to see him like this, it's nice. He's calm, he's got a calming way about him. Good man, Dave. Alright, Dave, you alright? Yeah, the hub of every draining run. Heartbeat. Yeah, the exactly. The heartbeat. You good? Yeah, I'm going to A few bits of kit for me to take home here, is that alright? Cut the ball? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what's that? It's Dave O's kit room. Dave O, what's this about? Wow. Yeah. Brother, have you seen this? Are you in here, Wazza? Dave O. Why is it you in it? I don't think I'm in there, I'm, I haven't made it, I don't think. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you're a man. Is that not yours there? What's that? <laughs> Dave, what's the best shirt? Dave, what's the best shirt? Dave, what's the best shirt you got here? Uh, Rob Lee. Rob Lee, that's got to be you up there, isn't it? No? Ram Percy on there. Ram Percy? Oh, that's got to be the one that... Yeah, that's nice. Love it. This is the type of rooms you don't ever see normally, is it, isn't it? when you want to play again. When you feel this type of, the difference between this type of grass and when you go park. I'm impressed by how he's dealt with all of the things outside of the pitch. End of last season, they stay up, last kick of the game, yeah? Everyone thought they were down. His first job, he would have been well within his rights and people would have said, you know what, well done to you. If he had gone, you know what guys, thanks, but I'm gonna leave now. Probably the hardest job, one of the hardest jobs about at the moment but he stayed on. And I said to him, I, I probably would have walked. Because his, his reputation would have been intact. Everyone would have still said, you know what, actually, I'll give him a job. He kept them up last year, but he's took it on again this year, and he's playing a ris risky game. But he's passionate about it, and he's actually, he believes in himself. And he's calm. It is what it is, Ree. It is what it is. That's all he says. It is what it is, he's got to deal with it. To get the trust of the players and we'll be all right. On the way down here, you said to me in the car, like, what do you reckon he's going to be? I didn't really have an idea what he'd be like. As a player, he's quiet sometimes, can be loud sometimes, can be brash, can be aggressive. He's a total opposite. It's mad, he's a total opposite as a manager. There's a respect level with the players. I think immediately you get that from these players because it's Wayne Rooney, but then you've got to prove yourself. And I think every player I spoke to here, whether it be Curtis Davis, Ravel, etc., they've all said like, he's good, you know? Because I don't know if they, they didn't know what to expect, like any, anyone knew coming through the door, but he's brought them together. There's definitely a more close knit group now, and they're really young. And he's been through some hardships already, and he's, he's like young, early start as a manager. But when I listened to him in the meeting there, him and Liam Rossini, his coach, they were positive, they were clear. Their messages were really bang on point. Oh, we got a group that we chat into, like um, a WhatsApp group with all the old Man United players. Listen, the first thing I'm going to be saying in there is, wow. The thing that does come out of it is he absolutely loves it, tactically as well. You know what's mad as well, like, just coming here, even from stepping from here onto the pitch, the difference, man, of the pitch. This was makes me want to play again, feeling the pitch. This is half, like, half 3G. That's a half fake pitch, half real. So, like, the feeling of hitting a ball on here, oof. Obviously, the cameras are on me today, because I'm the star of the show, but 
they've got cameras over there and they look at the session, look at the tactics, what they do. So they're doing a tactical session today for the game tomorrow. It's, no stone is left unturned. And this is a championship club. You go in the meeting room before, you see it all visually. Then you come out here, put it on the pitch. So when it comes up in the game, you're there, you're ready. Good man. He just looks comfortable out here. It's a bit like when I went and watched Frank at Chelsea. He's comfortable. He's just comfortable being letting someone else run the session and just put his little bits in here and there. Yeah, I'm Pete Shulworth, one of the first team analysts at, uh, at Derby County. When the manager came in, one of the things that uh, we identified as a, an area we could improve was how we capture training, how we film training. Um, so we bought this drone, the manager bought the drone him, himself actually. Um, so every training session, particularly tactical stuff and things like that, we fly the drone, we get a good angle um, on, on the training. And then from there we go and analyse that and can look at our, our shape and um, from an offensive and defensive perspective. Uh, go and look at that with the coaches and see, uh, you know, do some work from that. Thanks for letting us come. How Appreciate it, mate. mate. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Take Impressive, care. man. And good luck with your season. Thank you. We are done, man. A day's work there. Not work, really, is it? When you come into a football club to, to see one of your old mates, see how they're doing. Um, but that was good, man. Really insightful. You see all the workings of a football club. You see the people behind the scenes. It's the importance of everybody at the club. And you know what? Wayne really has taken that on board, making everyone feel comfortable. Everyone I spoke to there, you know what? He's a great lad. He's been brilliant for the lads. He's been brilliant for everyone here. All the staff, they love him. Not just because he's Wayne Rooney, the footballer, but because of what he's done and been as a manager in the short time he's been here. They're all really happy with him. So long may it continue.